Hi everyone, in my previous lecture, I have given a brief description about what is meant by environmental studies and what is meant by the surroundings and what are the different types of like uh, being out to protect the environment like that. So in this presentation, we shall see some more detailed things about the ecosystem. As I said already, so ecosystem is nothing but which surrounds us. So environment is nothing but everything which is having living things, non-living things like a build up environment like man-made or artificial environment and how to protect that everything comes under environmental studies. Whereas the ecosystem deals about the living and non-living things. So living things means like nature, plants, fungi, everything and uh, non-living things is like what we have made in this years and how we are saving our environment this is all like we are going to see the relationship between living and non-living things this relationship uh, between this both is said to be ecosystem and um, we shall see why we need to have this environmental education first of all uh, why this is required and what are the different subjects that teaches about the environmental education means the first one is environmental studies this environmental studies is like what uh, we are uh, studying now this is like to create the impact in the society and an involvement in the society by like uh, learning what are the impacts caused because of the technology right and environmental science means it is like the um, systematic study between biotic and abiotic relationship and environmental engineering means that concerns only about the pollutants causes and the effects and the next one is environmental chemistry means different chemical phenomena that takes place in the environment or various segments of the environment and uh, environment and ecology this means it's an interdisciplinary between the nature biology chemistry geography agriculture everything so earlier um, like we will be um, this all the motive of all this subjects see in the name like uh, it, it may varies slightly in its name but the motive of all the subjects are to learn about the ecosystem and to build a sustainable environment for the future generation so that same like for that main thing only everything will be working on and uh, we shall see in um, like what uh, what are the like uh, what this formal education provides us the first thing is they are here to create the awareness um, like in us means the children or youth whatever we need to know something about the environment that that is the main purpose of having this subject and next one is like it is an interdisciplinary approach means um, we cannot say that this is restricted only for arts and science or engineering or even medicine not like that it is for everyone because like the name itself says that interdisciplinary maybe a electrical engineer or a mechanical engineer or a computer science engineer whatever but all have to learn this um, program because it is the individual's prime responsibility to take care of the nation and take care of the nature uh, whichever like uh, already been provided and we need to bring the uh, like we need to give the same for our future generation and the next one is hands on experience what are the hands on experience in this subject means like uh, see learning is different through books we will learn everything but we need to have some field experience means how to protect the and uh, like uh, there may be like industrial waste and uh, like we knew that there are different kinds of waste right how to um, like uh, um, save our environment from the harmful uh, waste materials likewise we need to learn we need to categorize that categorize that and finally we need to think for uh, whether uh, which are all the things can be reused and which are all the things which can be sa safely um, like uh, disposed 
so everything should be learned that will come only from the field experience not from the book experience or any uh, subject materials right so that same thing also we will be seeing in this um, uh, lecture and uh, like non for like they have categorized it into a formal education and non formal education right so non formal education means like um, how to create uh, some interesting facts in in um, children or in uh, among the students means by the extra curricular activities like uh, providing a camp and uh, tell, uh, telling them to create awareness posters and uh, also making some competitions lc competitions among students and uh, creating some exhibition exhibition means what are all the products to save environment like that club activities and uh, mobile exhibition means a simple exhibition uh, like uh, whatever uh, wherever we are and um, even we can do like tree planting and uh, fencing cleaning the water bodies uh, and uh, this and all happened uh, like this is possible only by using the arts crafts and plays advertisement etc right so these are the two formal and non formal education first we are seeing what are the different types in the environment so uh, what are the different types of studies in the environmental education and next one is how to give a formal education for our uh, future generation and informal education so both we had seen in this presentation so the next one is what are the principles of environmental education means by considering the environment um like uh, see the, the environment is having all the nature artificial things everything right so we need to consider everything okay like the ability of the nature which it can provide and artificial which it can make and uh, the ecological relationship between them and we need to uh, study about the people at a various level so um, we can see that the people resides in the village will be having different as like uh, different views than the people who lives in the metro cities right and they we need to give education by with multidisciplinary approach as we said that a non formal or informal education means by club activities or camps or whatever like we have seen in the earlier slide like uh, um, uh, arts competitions right and uh, exhibitions we can make through that we can create awareness and uh, we need to examine the major issues or uh, the issues going on in the current situation and finally we need to develop the problem solving skills and we need to promote the active participation um, among uh, everyone and um, uh, like uh, uh, the for the environmental de degradation we need to discover what are the symptoms why because of it why it is happening what are the root cause of the uh, thing which uh, like if if we have noticed like some of the area is fully polluted means we need to find the root cause why why because of the why because of industries this much pollutants occur how to control it so in every aspect uh, as a human being uh, or as uh, this is our prime uh, uh, very uh, responsible our responsibility to take care of uh, the nature and um, uh, like art even whatever the artificial things of what whichever we have provided to the environment uh, even it is an uh, man made things we need to create awareness among students uh, like um, the upcoming future generation we need to save our uh, uh, ecosystem properly so that is the different um, that is the motive of this um, environmental education okay giving formal education and uh, informal education is nothing like uh, it it is only for making the people to understand the importance of ecosystem it is uh, like uh, uh, for every issues there will be a root cause right so we need to uh, find the root cause that to in this current scenario we can see lot of uh, um, like uh, uh, plants it may be a plants or it may be animals so their numbers are getting reduced and even human beings are getting so many diseases nowadays right so um, why we are getting the diseases whereas our ancestors haven't got that 
because they saved the environment they don't they were not having this many um updations technologies right but we have everything but still we we cannot um like overcome the health issues or we cannot save our uh, um ecosystem means like we have to identify what is the root